Everyone watching or listening to this tale has had a nightmare before. Some that go way back to when you were young. Some that you can't quite shake and they stay with you always. Like they're just behind you. It's nice in the daylight to think that they're just memories firing off, fears from stimulus. But what if it wasn't? What if there was a shadowy hand guiding those nightmares, feeding on them, in fact? <sighs> Makes me shudder. And where last we left, Dr. Rudolph Van Richten is having the worst of nightmares. <laughs> and so are all of you. <laughs> Quick note, two notes in fact. As I mentioned last time, we are in a bit of a gothic horror phase right now. Some of those themes are a bit oppressive. Just bear that in mind while we're watching. So, in, just in case. Also, we've got a giveaway that's gonna happen at some point tonight, but uh, we're just looking for some retweets. So you should see it in the chat and I'm gonna pop another one in right now. T5 retweets. And a generous giveaway from Erasivad. Okay. Outside the door that Van Richten has slid down to the floor on, there's the grisly sound of a murder that happened at some point. The murder of his wife. Playing for all of your ears. And Van Richten looking older and older by the minute just has his eyes closed. <laughs> and then you hear a rapping at the door. Front door? At the, the door that, the within the, the, the room that you're in. Oh, you guys okay, are in okay, okay. kind of the study. Right, right, right. And you can hear that, what's now a familiar voice for you of Baron Metis. Oh, doctor. That was horrific. <laughs> Even by my standards, that's rough. I'm sensing that you're close, close to accepting the offer, but maybe not quite yet. You can hear footsteps walking away. And Van Richten shoots up and opens the door and turns the corner and starts running. Oh, I mean, we'll we'll be right after him. Okay. He runs down the hallway, as you see, the final feet of Metis walk through a door, and Van Richten following with sword in hand, and it shuts. Great. Before Richton gets there or after? After. Immediately after yeah, Richton yeah. gets there. Mm. And you guys are in the hallway. the hallway now. And in front of you is still the grisly scene of a murder with blood. Now, he ran in front of us, right? He did. He run ran it. through it like it was spectral. You, did it look real? It. You. I would say that being in the house now, mm -hmm. you understand that it probably is spectral. I don't I, I'm not taking anything for granted. It looks <laughs> it looks real though. Okay. There's no there's none of the shimmer, mm -hmm. but it looks like a murder just happened. Is there a smell that's there is. Oh. And I think it's that metallic smell of blood. Hmm. I think I think Romer would just dash down the hall trying to jump over the anything that might be in the way, and he's just going to lay his shoulder into the door. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw to to miss the body. That's my best. It's good. <laughs> you are exhausted, so that will be a at a disadvantage. Thank you for saving the disadvantage. Oh, I, I think it's so. just... Oh, yeah, it's it's just, just, oh, it's ability it's, checks. Excuse it's, me. Well, if it was acrobatics, then I would have it. But. Right. But you blew it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> does a five do it? Uh, you <laughs> try to hop over and your boot clips the shoulder 
and the body rolls over. So there was almost like f- something physical. It it felt like it, and it kind of rolls over, and the blood continues to go. And you recognize the face from the from paintings. the paintings. He he's, he's, I feel like Romer's kind of used to this kind of stuff, but he's this really messes with him, and he just he tries to keep his back so people don't. But he's like he's about to throw up. Good. In fact, (laughs) as you run to the end of the hallway and kind of lay your shoulder into the door, it doesn't budge. But kind of around another corner, you see that same face that's been haunting your dreams. A woman that you know. Yeah. You know know her, her. but you don't. He'll just stop for a second and just stare down the hall. She's kind of peeking around a corner. It's not a malevolence. Mm-hmm. It's almost a look of concern or pity, maybe. You can't quite discern it, but it's definitely a look of. Who are you? Who are you here? And he just runs down the hall towards her. She backs around the corner, and as you get there, there's nothing. I think Killian, when he sees you go around the corner, like, Romer! They're trying to split us up! Stick with us! And we'll be cautiously approaching. All right. Well, she's gone. She's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, he'll, he'll just he'll back away, still looking down the hall, but back towards them. Yeah. Just. You two see the same thing. You've seen Van Richten run. Dis- you heard a door slam. Romer clipped a body. That's now. I think Elden would kind of inspect the body, just trying to discern if it was real or not, considering everything else he's seen. He reached down gently, touch. It does feel like a body, but go ahead and roll, um, go ahead and roll insight. Oh, so that would be disadvantage. That would be. How's a nine? All right. This feels like a almost still feels warm like it just hasn't quite lost it yet like that's 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 a fresh corpse so that's the one from the paintings yeah still questioning obviously but you run your fingers against the blood on the wall and it smears shows the tattered wallpaper behind it can't be real powerful illusion that might feel it and look it can't be. Can't be. I've never seen anything like that. It's too real. And, uh, he's just trying to get the door open. Okay. You can now make, um, roll for, uh... Just strength, I would Yeah, say. really just strength. It's, it's just... just uh, I'm yeah. not strong. Can I assist him in any way? Yeah, I think I'll, so. Like, I'll have mage hand bracing and pushing with the other hand. I think if you all combine it, too, that you can kind of all press... Use some minor magic to start heating the hinges. Yeah. And, yeah, just roll regular. Give me one of those. Okay. Yeah. Divine pre-roll is what we're calling Divine them. Divine yeah. pre-roll. I like it. I like Put it. them in the oven, and they come right out. <laughs> a one and a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah. This yeah. entire uh, house falls down. You're too strong. Romer's laying into it, and finally, in a bit of frustration, and a, somewhat of a flourish, pulls his sword back and kicks the door, nice. and it comes off the hinges that you guys have been kind of heating, and it cool. slams. And if you would put yourselves in... I got it. The far side of this room? This room right here, please. And which way did we enter from? You would have entered, actually, just okay. say it's this door that you so entered from. I'm going to put Romer in front, obviously, just for our own safety. Not, sure. <laughs> not for mine. No reason other than just our own safety. <laughs> yeah. um, and is... Okay, I can oh, see yeah, Rick did. Can you hand me the Off flight the stand for Anarchy, and I will switch to the battle map. Yes. Yes, I'm hooked. I'm miked. Where's the flight stand? Uh, I think oh. they're right behind the actual brick wall in the dice tray. Oh, they are. That's I right. I keep all my little accessories in there. Wait. 
What's that all about? Oh, don't, don't worry. Well, okay. Nothing. That's nothing. Did you Thank see you. something? No. <laughs> you son of a I just want to keep anarchy flying. You enter what is kind of, it looks like the first bit, almost maybe a, the salon part of a bedroom. What is a master bedroom? You see a, you can tell because there's wardrobes, mm -hmm. you know, on there. It looks like there's still, uh, you know, uh, plush seats that have clothes draped over them like you would in your own bedroom. Mm -hmm. You've taken something off and just kind of set it down. I gotta ask if there's a chez. <laughs> there is a chez. Right. Luckily, right. Romer has seen that a chez was, or yeah, two. That was <laughs> relevant to this campaign, I'm sorry. There's a chaise. You see a pipe sitting by the fireplace in here. You see a number of... Pipe look like smoking? No. Okay. It, it just looks like it's set kind of near the fireplace where you would imagine you'd take a is pipe. Is there a fire in the fireplace or does it look like... There is not a fire okay. in the fireplace. So it doesn't look like it's like currently being lived in, but... But it looks like somebody could have walked out this door. Is you it know. lit? It... Is lit. It has the uh, it has the same again the same gas kind right, of lights right, right, in right, here right. that are still strange yeah. to all of you. Is he in here? Not that you see. There's more around the corner. So there's another door uh -huh. like leading right through. Okay. Is it open? Close. It's it's actually I'm sorry. It's not even a door. It's like more just like the opening. Like, understood. Okay. Understood. You must be through there. Killian will have his wand at the ready, and Robert just kind of. Does it like burst and he kind of goes up and looks around? Oh, doing this. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. You peek through. You see that in that corner there, there's a four poster bed. Over here? Right there. What are the posters of? <laughs> I wish my beds were painted. I have some beds over there. There. You really? Yeah. That's awesome. No Van Richten. Shit, he's not in here. I oh, mean, I think Killian was just like, Van Richten! You don't hear Van Richten. Or anything else. Uh, so we just move on. <laughs> uh, Killian and Elvin, will you roll me a dexterity saving throw, please? Uh, if I refuse? <laughs> hey, before I forget, I'm going to give this to Romer for racing off after that yeah. strange woman. Actually, hold on to it. I'm going to give one anyway. So, I enjoyed the fear and the racing. Benevolence. 11. Okay. Elven. Well, here's the thing about that. <laughs> I got a 7. I will do my arcane deflection to make that an 11. So okay, you both got 11s? Yeah. Okay. Well, you both make it. It was a little difficulty. Both of you are standing on the door that Romer knocked down. As you feel it suddenly, both of you kind of tumble forward, but you're not knocked prone as it and locks behind you okay. as it goes up this way. Tight. For our safety. I was gonna say there's some doors back there too if you want me to put them in here, but I don't know how I don't know how much foley work you want me doing over here. Does it look like down that hall there's anywhere else out? It doesn't actually look. Um, even though there's a extra room here, consider uh -huh. that that's not quite okay. real. So it just goes down. I mean, there looks like there's a couple closets. So are we? Secret doors. So we're trapped in this bedroom. Looks like area. It. All right. Well, let's take a look around. All right, there. I just go up and start like opening closet doors, looking. Maybe there's like a secret passage or something in yeah. there. Are we using mage hand to open like drawers and stuff. You're opening drawers. You go through a closet, and there's just you're just close. Just old things. Are there actually windows around? Or? There are windows, in fact. Um, are you looking out the window? Mm -hmm. What you see out the window, I won't even make you roll it, in fact. You look down, the grounds are still here. You, Your eyes naturally go to the disturbed graves. You look past the walls and the gate, and in the woods that were surrounded all around this place, uh, in the mist, you see 
large humanoid wolf-like creatures prowling. Some will walk right across the path. None of them are entering, though. Some kind of wolfman out here. Oh, yeah. And the wolf we're, we're, press up to the window. Werewolves? You don't even have to roll. You guys are like, yeah, those are werewolves. Man, I mean, yeah, I think Killian would look and be like, they're not coming in. The ground could have been, well, it's good protection. I was going to say yes, but then with all this going on, hard to say. Who are they protecting? Well, Van Richten could have made it sacred ground. Maybe even the entrance wouldn't necessarily stop from illusion magic. I, I don't know. Or did someone against Van Richten? We need to find him. I start to, like, throw, pulling rugs up and looking under the bed and, you know, looking for... I think I'm going to start doors. blasting the door with Firebolt. <laughs> uh, you're blasting it? Strangely, it's doing nothing. Not even charring the wood. Mm. You're you're expecting something. You're expecting splinters. And I mean, you keep going. And it stops nothing. when it hits it. It stops, okay. yeah. Mm. With that, Elvin, you look over and you see the boy from Cholt, the young man from Cholt, walking towards you. Romer, you see a figure that you know is an enemy. You don't recognize the face, but you recognize the markings, Mm -hmm. tattoos under, all across the cheeks. You're like, I've I've faced him before. Mm. Is he near me? Coming out of the walls, it seems, walking. A red wizard steps out. An inquisitor, in fact. One you've been expecting. I'm seeing more visions. Enemies of old. They continue. Uh, I think Killian would press his back up to Elbin as he raises his hands with electricity like Eldritch Blast Eldritch arcing blast. between his fingers. <laughs> you know what? We're all going to roll initiative. Yeah, yeah. I thought you might want <laughs> to do that. do that. With disadvantage, right? Isn't is it ability check initiative? Oh, I think it is. I never thought about that. Yeah. That's a bunch of junk. Where do you guys think you were? Because you weren't uh, necessarily. I was, I was in blasting there. the door. I'm, I'm in that other room. All right, well, your, I'm here blasting the door. I'm probably in there somewhere, like in the middle somewhere. Right, yeah. It'd be right here. Wherever you think I would have been looking out a window. You would probably be over by this the bed in right corner that one. Out of the wall, they have uh, materialized. You got some ghosties? And for convenience sake, I didn't summon wolves. Oh, <laughs> Will you put those around Romer? Yeah. Did you say those? <laughs> Look at these skellies. Oh, that's right. Those are the um, uh, Shade Spire Shade skellies. God, those are good. And flanked on the other side, Elbin quickly is the Cholton that the. Um, Head of the basilisk cult that steps out and just <sighs> killing the other. Just advantage. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm not exhausted. Oh, yeah. I thought we all were. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 You're right. I wrote it there. Uh, Caristopheles walks out, <laughs> raising a hand for a spell. And your patron. Now in humanoid form, it looks that looks nearly the same. I mean, I visibly step back. <laughs> strangely, yes, you. And this is the first you seem. It almost seems like there's a shimmer, like you can't quite get the angles right. Like mm-hmm. if you were looking out of the peripheral of right. your vision, because you've only seen mostly the shadow. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you're nice. each flanked mm. by these ghosts. I'm gonna just roll for them. I think in Killian's head right now, like I think he's had that adrenaline that like 
pins and needles creeps up your back like when you're watching a horror movie and like something like the mom is like clinging to the corner of the kid's bedroom or some weird shit like in <laughs> Hereditary <laughs> that I was like this is fine <laughs> uh, I think Killian knows it's not real but that's that's impossible to tell yourself in the situation like watching a horror movie like yeah these are special effects but this is horrifying yeah so I, I think that's kind of what's in his head at this point like clearly this is awful and scary and they have they've walked out of the wall, or some of them step out of the chimney as if they've actually come down it. No presence, though? No, no. No it's presence, I'm presence. afraid. <laughs> Just, yeah, <laughs> presence. <laughs> okay. With that initiative, you Elvin. That's a four. Okay. Romer? Six. <laughs> Rock and roll, boys. Killian? Uh, 23. <laughs> okay. Well, if you add ours together and... Still triple it. Will <laughs> you in? Okay, Killian. Okay, can I be in this doorway right here without drawing an opportunity attack? Yeah, yeah. They're not necessarily engaged with each of you. I didn't have the room, so assume that each one of you are engaged by two on each of you, but okay. not necessarily right. interchanging. I think Killian will... God, I really want to say, Elvin, help me! Help me! <laughs> I'm not gonna, though. Uh, Killian is going to raise his hands, and a pinch of salt flies up into the air, and he is casting slow. So I need every single one of them to make me whatever save oh, it is. you want to see them all. Nice. Whatever roll it is, which I left my phone over there, so I don't have that on me. Hold uh, on. I think it's slow is a wisdom is, save. Yeah. Wisdom yeah, save? All right, so all four text. of them need to make a wisdom save? Oh, they're not six. Oh, they're six. They're, they can, they, can up, go. I can do up to six targets. Oh, okay, I see. I see. All right, I'm going to do these by twos then. Here's the two closest to this door. Okay. And I'm trying to be, what, a 15? 15. Okay. Um... Will you... Here, uh, actually, just do this. Well, yeah. Hold on. Will you tell me exactly... Give me one moment. I can write their names here, too, if you want. Uh, slowed. I suppose still works. Yeah. So it looks like one fail, one pass. With these for Elbins? Yeah. So what do you want to call them? Cholt, Cholt, man. Elbin, Elbin one, Elbin two. Uh, yeah. Are they two different visions each? Two different visions. So, uh, cult leader, who failed. And he is slow. Cholt. I'm just going to put Cholt, yep. Uh, for me, Inquisitor, and hold on. I'm sorry to do this, boys. I want each one of them to roll at disadvantage. Okay. All right, so here is for the Inquisitor. Failed. And here is Karistopheles, your former master. Uh, actually, fails as well. Ooh, Thank you for the cool. divine pre rolls, friends. They have been huge. All right, and so for Romer, it is patron and warrior. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll just try to kind of go again. All right, so. Warrior passed, patron failed? Correct. Okay. Well, I got four slows off. I'll That's take awesome. it. Good. Good. Uh, yeah. Tell me everything that slow does again. Uh, minus two to armor class. If they have multi-attack, they can only do one attack. Regardless, they can only do one attack. And if they have bonus actions or regular actions, they have to choose between doing a bonus action or a regular action. Right? Right? They do not get reactions. Okay. Um, I think there. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, spells. I think they have to roll to see if it actually happens if they're casting a spell. Okay. Well, do you need to know that? Okay. I do need to know that. Like a twenty percent chance. Or I, I don't. I don't remember. I'll look that up in just a second. Uh, real quick, since I can't take reactions and both of the ones on me are slowed, I will have Anarchy, in fact, swoop over here and give. Romer, the assist action on his attack. Okay. You and I will, in the meanwhile, it. look up what the rules are for casting spells. Okay. Uh, well, okay, then let me start with the ones that are not. So, uh, Elvin, I'm going to start with you. There's one that is not. So, a hand reaches out, and as it does, and it looks like the Cholton boy, some of it suddenly starts to look like 
translucent and transparent, and you can see it glowing. It looks like a ghostly hand. 50-50 chance of a spell failing. I'm sorry, my dude. Um, okay. Sorry, it's not that it fails. You roll a d20 if you get an 11 or higher. The spell takes effect next turn. Yeah. And the creature has to use its action on the next turn to complete the spell. Okay. That's all my Okay, I got it. So, so 11 or higher, it takes another it takes, takes an extra round. round, round okay. Okay. Gotcha. Or usually they lose their action. Yeah. Was, but. Holy shit. You feel it push its hand through you. And you start to feel like your life is being drained. And in fact, even though you're still humanoid, your legs and muscles start to feel like wood that's sinking. Uh, Please make a constitution saving throw. I can't tell if that's a seven. Yeah, it's a six. Seven? Yeah. Your hit point maximum is also reduced by 14 hit points. And Good God. I'm sorry, how much did I take damage? You took on, on 14, other? but now so, consider that. So you can't heal past that. You can't that. heal past that. By the way, we did hit the retweet threshold, so the giveaway will happen on the break. Giveaway will happen on the break, y'all. Uh, okay, so same thing here. So I'd, I'm casting a spell, so I now. Right now, you ready right to now. see if it happens. Yep, it happens. Right now, we're, this we're is drunk. this is the cult leader that's affected. Yep. yep. So it that does it does happen. Okay, now it's trying to hit you. John, it does my dude? I need you to roll another Constitution saving throw, please. You passed. So you just take ten more points of damage. <laughs> Make sure you write that 25 to the side. All oh, right. Yeah, your max to the side. Elvin, as your life is getting just pulled out of you and you can feel yourself turning to wood almost, go ahead and roll a perception check for me, please. At disadvantage, because you're exhausted. So that would be a 13. Right now, you don't seem to notice anything. Okay, I'm sure there's nothing anyway. Okay, so... I gotta turn into an animal. On... Both of yours are slowed, right? Sorry, what was the spell that would Killian have seen? Like, just the spell effects. You don't need to tell me the name. You can see that life is being drained. You're like, they're draining life, to be sure. And in fact, that's not unheard of to you from where you're from. Oh, yeah. He would have looked and seen Elbin... And you, that happen. and you saw as almost as soon as it started hitting the skin, it turned spectral and yeah. like went inside and seemed to be pulling things out. Gotcha. Kalimar. Yeah. Kalimar. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So here's the first one on you to see if it takes effect this turn. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. See if it takes effect this turn. Gotcha. All right. So this is Inquisitor. It does. It does. does. Here's attempting to hit you. I rolled an 18. You got anything for that? Mm, I don't think shield would get me there. Nope, I'm taking that. It's brutal. Okay. Okay, so you take eight points of damage. I need a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, I am going to only be able to cast a cantrip next turn by using arcane deflection to make that a 14. You pass. All right, here's the next one, seeing if it takes effect this time as Karistopheles yeah. comes at you. It does. So, oh yeah, yeah, it does, yep. I rolled a 14. I will shield that. Oh, oh I can't. You can't. I can't. You're a usual reaction. Yep, yeah. I can't. That is a hit. I, what, I what's your armor class? 15. Yes. You take seven points of damage. Please make another constitution saving throw. Failed. Well, what did you get totally? Uh, seven. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no bonus. Come on. It's like my deck save. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> you think? And my max is reduced by seven? Mm-hmm. Uh, make a perception check as that happens. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm over a 20. 
as you're kind of looking, as you're starting to feel the life drained out of you, at first you can see Elvins, and next to him, you see what looks like a small orb. It looks yellowish in color. And the way that, like, the dust is kind of moving in here now, it almost looks like these are being projected out. And as you look down, because you rolled high, you can see an orb next to you that looks like it's projecting these images out. Mm. I think, I mean, I think he would shout something about that, like, they're being projected! Look for the orbs! Okay. I can't get more than that out. I'm going to go for yours then, but then you'll get a chance for a perception check immediately, and it'll be regular, okay. without disadvantage. Uh, so disadvantage to attack me? Disadvantage, that's right. So, well, here, here's to see if this one goes this turn. Yeah. It does not. It does okay. not. So I'll here, I'm going to put, I'm gonna put a so it, bead. So it, do I still roll now, and then no, I just have the to complete it? fires next Okay, turn. so I don't do anything. This other one's not slowed, so they have the other one is one not attack. slowed. I don't right. know if they do. Yeah, the warrior is not slow. Warrior is not slow, but this one's at disadvantage too. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, so this is just regular style. Uh, no, absolutely, that doesn't get you. Mm. All right, it is now. Real quick, you gotta. They get their save at the end of their turn. Oh, do they? Okay, I'm so here's for Cholt Boy uh, again. Wisdom trying to beat fifteen. Yes, no, Inquisitor. No. Oh. No. Karistopheles. Oh. Yes. Uh, where am I at? Patron? Yep. No. Okay. Three still slowed. I'll take it. Okay. So, question. Is this to scale? Yeah. Okay. Feel free to make a perception check oh, right, right now, though. You said normally. Yeah. Uh, 14? That'll do it. Uh, not far from you, you see what looks like a little amber ball. It doesn't quite look like the thick amber, though. It mm. almost, it looks like... Mm. Kind of glass. Almost like a bubble, you know? Yeah. Or an ornament. Um, yeah, I think my mom has some of those on, like, one of those shelves that has, like, no importance. Mm -hmm. serves no uh, like importance. a curio? Yeah, there's, like, a porcelain cat on it or something. If I, from the door, just because it's hard for me to judge, from the edge of the door where Killian is standing uh -huh. to the back of the place, how far would you say that distance is? About like 20 feet. 10, 20. I'd say 25, yeah, probably. Yeah, 25. Okay. I move to the back to the where the door is. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna give, make myself make a wisdom check, or not, or to do this. Okay. Because I'm freaked out by my patron. Tight. I love it. Because <laughs> I'm gonna do something not so good, but it's not gonna affect you. Yeah. That's why I wanted it, or me. All or, right. Or I don't think Anakin either, actually. Uh, so wisdom. So. 13. Okay, I don't think that's bad enough. Okay, he does not cast Fireball. Okay. okay. <laughs> I thought about it, too. Are those attacks of opportunity? No, they don't. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, one of them... Uh, one of them doesn't. The patron doesn't. So the other one would. The warrior would. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm. Disadvantage. Uh, gotcha. Jeez. Sorry. No, 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 that's fine. He's, he's freaked okay. out. So, so you yeah, take... Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Take Narrative. six damage and roll a constitution saving throw for me. I am but a slave to the rules. Uh, 22. Uh -huh. So, oh, thank you guys for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks, y'all. Thanks for them biddies. 22. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely good. All right, so I'm going to then... He kind of, like... He's, he starts casting the spell, and then he just kind of looks around and, and thinks better of it, and steps up and attacks that first one with okay. advantage. Yeah, go for it. Uh, 25. 25 definitely hits. And... I don't know if it makes a difference. It, I mean, it does drain a spell. I don't know uh, if them in any way. These ones don't have spell slots, so oh, I, I can't have it yeah, do that fine. one. Uh, so he takes 11. Okay. And then I'll attack him again. Actually, you just want to mark 11 next to that dude, since yeah, you happen 15, to be right there. Which one was it? The warrior, 15 right? hits. Mm -hmm. uh, for 11 more. Uh, actually, that does it. So, here's what happens. You strike the warrior, and you have a memory of the battle exactly that you felt him in, and you just recreate it. You pull out, you know that he's gonna go high, so you go low with your sword, and you stab in again, and it wisps away. I look at the orb after I do that. You see it crack. Like, you can see a crack start to like... It's like, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely the orbs. 
He didn't roll high enough for me to go for the orb. Yeah. But he didn't roll low enough for me to fireball the whole top Makes floor. Sense. <laughs> the investigation's still going on. I like it. Elbin, um, go ahead and roll a perception check, and I'm actually going to give you just regular at this point again, because they've all they've all said what's happening. So it has to be a real idiot to fail. I mean, you are getting torn to <laughs> yeah, shreds. Yeah, you're, you are. you've got a lot. And exhausted. And so you, you've you heard that, and I think you are looking for it. You just can't see it with them surrounding you right now. So you just can't locate it, but you're definitely like, I believe there's an orb here. <laughs> okay, but it is your go. And this door is the one that slams you. It, it is. Um, I just can't get a feel for it. So, so that's like an empty space. Empty. So can I kind of adjust these to a way that makes sense and tell me if I did it wrong? So 5, 10, 15. And then these guys are right next to me. Or I can't tell where I am. Sorry. Yeah, I think this I one was next to me. Yeah. I think that's accurate. Consider it like that. Okay. Um... A moonbeam is a five foot radius. No, go ahead. No, 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 no. I was thinking about myself. Oh, okay. Of course you were. Yeah. <laughs> moonbeam being a five foot radius means. Basically, it's a basically two by two. A two. On by a two. grid, okay. it's effectively a two by two. That's not really great either. I just don't know what my good options are. Sorry. Um. Well, you could start it anywhere, right? So he could get those two in the corner, that corner, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was just hoping that more than two. Probably not, yeah. And I can't call lightning inside, can I? You, you can. But that's a bad idea. No, it has to have a hundred, I think, like a hundred. Yeah, I think, I think it does. I think that's something that sometimes gets overlooked. Yeah, but yeah you need, like, yeah. a vast amount of space yeah. above you. Uh... Thunder, so this guy's right next to you this way. So yeah, Thunderwave, Thunderwave is, a, is a three by three cube, so you could angle it where the middle spot is there, so it just hits those two. Okay. Either one will work. All right. Well, I will Thunderwave those two. Okay. So They need saves. Con, con saves, yeah. Con. All right, so kind of as they lay. Uh, one They're of my, going for 16, so I said one let me Let me just look, though. Okay. Yep. Be, oh, you are 16, yeah. Okay. That plus one. Uh, well, this one fails over here, so that's the Cholton boy, I believe. Okay. He can be pushed, but I guess he can't be pushed, really. Um, they cannot be pushed. <laughs> so that is 2 to 8. 8s are the ones with 20 sides, right? It's thunder if it makes a difference. 4, 11. Okay. And then I'm gonna drink a regular potion. Will you actually no I'm mark eleven next to the yep. Chol- Cholton boy? No, I'm just gonna. And the other one takes half, right? Yeah, that's uh, right. Is it? So five. Yep. I'm gonna bring. He's not really gonna do anything, but I'm just gonna stick him here to give us all eleven temporary hit points. No, no. Thank you, God. You just call him God. No, I wouldn't call him God, but <laughs> I mean, he did wake up a God, yeah. so. At least a god's Maybe. butler or alarm or something. All right, so you thunder crashes the um, the frames that are on the wall are. Doesn't make any noise, does it? No. <laughs> and then a bear jumps out and it takes almost an aggressive stance as the, as you see it just kind of settling into place. Love that bear. Yeah. Do you not even get the other ones out now? No. <laughs> what do they do? Sorry. Doesn't matter. Anything else from you, my dude? I think that does it. All right, Killian. All right. Well, I can only use a cantrip, so my turn is relatively easy to decide. Um, I did let Anarchy act after me last time, so technically I won't. I won't get that uh, advantage. But she is going to fly over here, Mm -hmm. um, and on her turn, she will assist me with Karistopheles. But that won't apply this turn, I don't think, since you got to decide before or after. We'll get good at declaring that with our new house rule. Uh, so besides that, uh, he will attack the slowed one. Uh, the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor, yep, with uh, Shock and Grasp. That would be a, a 17. That's definitely a hit. Okay. Yeah. That would be Better five now. points of lightning damage on Inquisitor, bringing him to ten total. Okay. Uh, he is trying to hit the orb, like just trying to focus on the little brass orb he sees behind it. Oh, are you trying to go for the orb? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Can I do that? Scratch that then. Ten damage? 
Yeah. Is what you did? Yeah. Okay. Then forget that. As you were going, instead you're, you think you're smart, like the orb. And instead you grab the orb and shocking grasp it and it shatters. Karistopheles and the Inquisitor oh, tight. are gone. I'm sorry. I thought each one had one orb. I'm sorry. There was one orb. There was one, one orb pass. that was. Oh, I thought. Ah, that was I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. That's, that's fine. Cool. No problem. Was a was a 17 good enough to hit that orb? Yeah. All right. Cool. It's an inanimate object. All right. Well, because of that, since Anarchy goes after me, I will now have her. Uh, I'll just be like Anarchy the orb, and she'll swoop down and give Elbin assistance on attacking. The orb before him. Okay. If that sees it. Yeah. That's it for me. <laughs> All right. Elbin, on you, my friend. Uh, so, the. Let's see. The uh, cult leader. God, I could not think of that. Is slowed. That. Needs an 11 or higher to not have the spell happen. Okay, so it does uh, Hang on, happen. though. I think Killian, seeing how hurt Elbin is, is just going to be like, no! Pull the spell into his hands. Is it a spell, or is it a... Is it, is it, it is a spell. Um, I think you can counter it if it's a spell. Yeah, it's a spell not, attack. Not so, an yeah, ability. Yeah, go for it. I will counter spell, my dude. Okay. Mm. My dude. Okay, I'll. With your wand, you're gonna have a life drain in there. Oh, I so forgot about that. It's. Oh my god! I'll so, look it up. You don't need yeah. to read it. Yeah. So me. well, it's the same. It's two d six necrotic. A uh, DC. Well, I'll give it your DC saving throw now. Uh, con save against your save, or their hit point maximums reduced. So Tight. you do have a life drain <laughs> stuck in there. The wand is like glowing a little bit mm-hmm. from it. It tries, and as it's going, it's like it's being pulled away by wind as Killian's sucking it backwards and arm goes down. That yeah. one is tight. Man, I think if that was a movie, it'd be focused on the thing and then, like, the, the focus on Killian. Mm-hmm, just, it. All right, here is the Cholton, Cholton young man. Uh, not slowed, so just straight up doesn't. I, I think... As you see that one's going, you're able to kind of take a more defensive stance with this one and just kind of dodge out of the way. Okay. Will you move the patron up to Romer, please? And it's cast a spell, which would go off now. That's right. So now it's going to try to hit your disadvantage. So I, I would, I, I think that he's still utterly terrified of it. He would. Have, I would give him advantage against me, but he has disadvantage. So we'll roll regular. Yeah. Tight. Tight. I fucking love it. Gotcha. It digs right into your, to your heart. And he's just like it's trying to start. claw at the hand and try to pull it out. Nice. You take five points of damage and please make a Constitution saving throw. Probably a good good idea. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Good. Twenty three. Cool. You're good as it reaches in, and you're the face is almost morphing to look just like yours, mm. and going kind of back and forth. I'm not happy. I would like to now give this to Romer. Oh, some tight stuff. <sighs> okay. Oh uh, sh- yes. And it is your go, my friend. I got hit twice. I didn't roll concentration. Ah, yes, yes. So let me just roll for the one I missed. Uh, made it, and then the one I just did, made it also. Sweet. Protection is still up. <laughs> That's been saving And actually, you can see as the arms in there, the protection, the sigil that you kind of made, it is like... It's like burning it. Nice. Yeah. You got your- and Romer, it is your go. Um, Good thing you got your tough neck. Yeah, he's still gonna lay, he's gonna lay into him mm-hmm. because he just he's now he's like getting mad. Yeah, he's like he's gone he's gone through that like that fear phase. But once he hit him, he's like, no, you're not gonna, you no more, no more. And he just I know he should be going for the orb. Fuck it, man, just goes right. do it up, like my it. dude. I like it. Nope, <laughs> <laughs> not with that one. It was a wild swing. Yeah. Uh, four, uh, sorry, 16. Yeah, absolutely. 
Oh, good. Wow. Oh. 16 damage. Woo. You pull the hand out, hold it, cut the head off as it rolls. It kind of dissipates into nothing, and the orb mm. shatters into pieces. You can pull that one right off. And there's look still, how cool it is, though, real fast. Just look how cool that is. And there's still any other room? There's two still? Yeah, two on Elbin. Uh, then I'm going to move into the room close to, to the closest one. Okay. Actually, I'll move into the room. I'm going to move in the room and just look, see if I can see the orb that like, you do. I'm projecting. Okay. So I'm just going to actually go right in the doorway. Okay. That's fine. Does that, that work? Just, yeah, that's fine. Just a little bit of a traffic <laughs> jam in there. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't see from where I was. Elvin, you have advantage oh, on perception. Worry. I'll fuck it up. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Such a you absolutely <laughs> see it. Have I seen this? Have I seen this? <laughs> and I mean, those orbs. you can almost see the projections now with all the movement in here. Like I see it, kind of projecting out to these two figures. It is your turn. Yeah, I think he's gonna turn his hand into a claw and just <laughs> slamatize it down. Okay. Attempt to. Go ahead. Is that a disadvantage? Nope. Nope. No. It is not. <laughs> What's your total? Nine. Nine will not do it, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, yes, we need a sweet Elvin. Eight. <laughs> you needed a ten. Nine point three. Anything else for you, my dude? Kill him. All right. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Anarchy was helping you, was assisting she him. Was yeah, so actually roll an advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's ten. Yeah, that's ten. <laughs> that's ten. <laughs> oh, man, ten. Go ahead and roll your damage. Who's a big boy? We went from a two to a three. I'm gonna give him good. advantage for being a combat monster. Yeah. He's <laughs> uh, up. Thirteen. You claw down and smash, and it shatters, and the room immediately feels lighter. Mm. You didn't even realize that the darkness had set in. And it kind of lifts. Mm. And out of the corner, two figures come out. You see what is clearly Ingrid Van Richten and Erasmus Van Richten. They do not look malevolent. They look absolutely human. They look pretty close to corporeal though you can almost tell you're like I mean how could they be the floor is not yeah. moving you know what I mean like floorboards aren't there's aren't nothing wait and they come up to you looking grave and that's where we're gonna take our first oh, break everybody we got a raffle going on that should kick off on the break right well, indeed yeah so we'll come back to a winner and uh Potentially some deaths. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we already had not six. deaths. Short <laughs> rest over the break? Oh, yeah. If you guys want to... Well, yeah, you'd have time to take a short rest, so yeah. Hey, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to us here at Castle Mac. We're so happy that you came. The point of this video is just to do a little bit of housekeeping on the break. That way, when you come back, we can just jump straight back into the action with whatever show that you were watching. If you're watching us live right now on Twitch, you can go ahead and mash that follow button up here. If you're watching us a little bit later on YouTube, you can mash that subscribe button right down here. We stream live on Twitch on Tuesdays and Sundays, both at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And we try to upload our videos to YouTube about 48 hours later. So you can follow us there, youtube.com slash Castle Mac. Um, if you want to talk to us outside of our streams, then you can go ahead and follow us on Twitter. Sometimes we post schedules there if we're going to be streaming in between. We have some friends of ours that stream on our channel, the Macalites. We also do a March style campaign with some of our friends in our Discord, and that happens periodically. So if you want to know one, you can just follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handles are all Castle Mac, and then our first name, you can follow me. I'm Castle Mac Lydia. You can follow Raven. You can follow our DM, Steven and Johnny. You can follow any of us, and you can find our names right underneath of our characters on our nameplates. So we would love it if you would follow us, and you can find us on our other streams there. And also, if you want to talk to us off of Twitter, you can follow us on our Discord. We have a Discord server. You just go to our Twitch channel, scroll down a little bit, and you can follow that link. We are there pretty much all the time. There are people from all over the world, so no matter what time you're chatting, I guarantee there will be someone there to chat back at you. It's so much fun. Everyone there is so nice. And I just want to talk now a little bit about what goes on during our Twitch streams. 
So for every 500 bits donated or every sub, we get a divine reroll. That is basically the God saying, you can reroll that terrible D20 roll that you just made as a player. If you roll badly, you can reroll that and hope for better. But also if the DM rolls really hot and it's gonna hurt us, we can make him reroll that in hopes that he won't hurt us quite so badly. So it's great. And with those bits, it allows us to upgrade some of our equipment. We've been able to get new microphones. So we sound so much better than we used to. We have these lapel mics. We're hoping to get some new cameras in the future. And with those bits, we're able to uh, pay artists from Twitter that we find to do character portraits. We found some on Facebook that are really great. We've been able to commission a new theme song for our Waterdeep Dragon Heist campaign. The art looks amazing and we're so happy to be able to give that back to artists that we found. So with that, we are so happy that you are here. We are so thankful to have you as a viewer and a subscriber and a chatter in our Discord. We hope that you will stay around because in the next few minutes, we'll be coming back to whatever show you're watching. We're so happy that you're here. So thank you so much.
Another grisly bit of nightmares in Van Richten Manor. But standing before you is clearly the visage of Van Richten's family, looking grave, but definitely without malevolence. And they've kind of come out, and they're almost standing kind of next to each other, almost her hands are on his shoulders, and he's kind of bent forward. Have we already done the short rest? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, just consider that just you have. Do the math. Uh, so uh, what I would have done is I was going to recast Protection from Evil on myself. Yeah. And then get it back. Got it. Yeah. For sure. Well, I'll wait to the end of the rest to do it. They're standing there. And, you all must help my husband. Where is he? He's here and not here. This place is not real. And the boy speaks up. He's like, this is a nightmare. No argument there. How do we find him? That part should be easy, I think. You just have to wake up. Wake up? I, I can help you. We can help you wake up. But you're all asleep right now. Each one of you. You entered the home and were put to sleep. You are still here, but the magics have been morphed. This place is still physical and not. How do we wake up then? We will help you wake up, but you have to try to wake up Rudolph. He is about to give in, and he cannot. If he does, you will not escape this house. Show us how to wake up then. I'll get you out. Try to reach him however you can. The thing that is controlling this house is... is awful. No argument there. Are you gonna slap me? Nothing so violent. We never were violent. Thank you for helping him. Thank you for helping my father. We'll do what we can. Of course. But remind him who he is. They both take hands. And you're standing. And then your backs are on wood floor. I think I'll... <laughs> yeah, I just immediately look around and kind of get, get to one knee and like he draws his sword just kind of like expecting like hordes to be on them any minute. You don't see hordes. The room is dark. Are we on the main floor or are we on the lower level? You're on a different, so it looks like the top, almost maybe the attic of the house. Uh, gotcha. And in fact, around you, you can see kind of the slats that would be in an attic. You see uh, basically kind of sheets or almost tarps kind of wrapped over things. Things have gathered dust in here. As you kind of sit up and look across the room, you see Van Richten sitting kind of against the wall. And you see across from him, against the wall, are what are very clearly the remains of his family Ugh. in like skeletal form, but still some of the tatters of clothes as they're propped up against the wall opposite of him. Mm. As you kind of keep looking, it almost looks like a sheet blowing in the wind. And you can see for him that he's he's now kind of standing, even though you can still see his physical body sitting. And you see a cross from him. His son looks again vampiric, and is kind of crawling towards him, and his wife is is doing this, and behind them is clearly Baron Metis. Doctor, the offer is now. You're tired. I offer you communion with the family you so dearly miss. Rudolph is crawling in this vision. He's got a stake. He's crawling forward. He still looks determined, but he looks tired. While that's taking place, something comes out of the shadows 
across from you. Fine robes. Kind of a short, cropped black hair. You notice right in the center of this pale figure, looks like almost a diamond shape, but it's amber. Steps out, looking very regal, and again, similar to Metis in some ways. Similar to even what Esmeralda looks like to a certain degree, mm -hmm. clearly the Vishtani. It's like, well, impressive that all of you could wake up. It's immaterial now, though, I'm afraid. The trap has been set for the good doctor. He cannot resist it now. Does it look like barrenness? It doesn't. It looks just kind of similar in bone structure right. and kind of the adornments of the right, clothes. Right, right, right. Who are you and why do you want this manner of revenge on him? My name is Doc Claude. I was sent by my lord, Strad von Zarovich. Well, like any reputation, they are hard earned. And I must give it to the doctor, few have earned a reputation like he has. A hunter of all things that go bump in the night. I was tasked with a simple thing. Not only should he be dead, but he should be broken. The way he's left so many of us. It's kind of pacing back and forth, not necessarily coming near to you. Is he between us and Richton? No, not not especially actually. Like if you if you just sat up here, then Richton is right here mm -hmm. that you can see, mm -hmm. and ahead of you is Duck Claude. As we're staring at him, I'm just gonna telepathically have um Anaki just swoop down to Van Richten and start like obviously not like pecking him to hurt him, but just pecking at him, trying to wake him up, like slamming her beak into his head. Where you saw that shimmer, almost, that looked like a sheet, Yeah, she dives and and kind of falls backwards and hops, and Doc Lott's like, oh. <laughs> No, no, no. Like she hit an invisible field? Looked like it. Oh Alright, I think Killian's gonna raise his wand and be like, it's unfortunate for you that we've woken up because we're not leaving without that man and me breaking my table. All right. All right. Once he completes that, there is no escape. You see, in me trying to find out, I found out something about all of you as well. Then it seems like we don't have that much time. <laughs> I think Killian's going to right. cast a spell. Do it up. Let's so all roll initiative. The monologue, but I think given that there's minimum time. Oh, that's fine. I'll remember it. <laughs> Turn that monologue into a polylogue. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. 13. Six. 13. Oh, my God, a 17. Uh, 16. 13, 16. 17. Okay. Damn it, I almost beat him. And I'll have Anakin go before me. I thought she was going on your turn. Oh, but on your turn. You still have to declare before right, after. Right, yeah, understood. Um, this is just to remind me of something that's happening on initiative okay, count. Okay, sure, yeah, sure, cool. sure. So. Sweet. <laughs> Daddy, what, I'm about another enemy. Hey, by the way, congratulations to proficiency bonus, I think. Is that what it says? I can't read it. It's all the way. Yeah, it looks like proficiency. So uh, just hit me up on either oh, Twitch or okay. Discord what, or Twitter. Name, An Era Savad keychain. Oh, okay. custom yeah. keychain like this. This is my Era Savad dice tray. Check out how oh, awesome wow. this thing is. It's kind of hard to see the uh, texture inside, but it's quite. I'm not even showing the battle cam. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Pretty tight. I, I love it. All right. Before anything happens, though, as you're casting a spell, you can almost still hear, you catch the conversation that's going on beyond that corner, and Metis is like, Doctor, you don't even have to do anything. In fact, that's all I'm asking you to do, is do nothing this time. And you see the corpse of the sun kind of crawling. Spectrally. 
It's the actual bones. Oh, really? Yeah, as the kind of... But on the other side of that shimmer. Yeah, you can see... You can see, like, it's it's spectral, but the bones are physically moving mm. as well. Can we speak out of turn before our turn goes? Uh, you can... Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you a short phrase. Do you want to get him or should I? Uh, I think Killian's, like, already casting the spell, because okay. that's kind of what kicked this off, so I'm not sure it could be like, yeah, you want to you wanna go? Okay, me go? I, th- I think Killian's, like... He still it. says it, and he just sees you kind of yeah. going, and then he just kind of nods, like he's going to go get him. Yeah. Okay, that was that. Uh, now it goes. Uh, I'm sorry, let's put this here. You guys could have moved to a different spot if you wanted to. I just had you wake How up. How far away is he from me? Uh, Rickton. Rickton is 35 feet. Then I would have moved a little bit closer. I would have moved just up. like maybe Actually, so I'm sorry. Let's put... Let's put this here because that's and what Rickton I said. So you guys, there. Van Richten is back there, yep. exactly where this fireplace is. Consider that the kind of sheet. Where do you want to be right here? There. That's fine, just as long as I'm within range of them. Yeah, and I would have been here, and I did send Anaki flying. I imagine she's and the like sheet is, a, is the you said the fireplace. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. That consider that line that it makes is the sheet. Okay, well, with the four of you there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What was it? I couldn't see it. Five. Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, I gave you inspiration, so. Oh, thank you. No, that's yours to give out, but can you hand me one of those? That's a blue one, right? Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. Hand okay. me that one so I can put it away so we don't get confused. You're all confusing the shit out of me. Sean. <laughs> I gave it to you before we went on break. This thing rushes to you, Killian. And it puts a hand out towards you. And it is fast. It almost seems like for a second you see like a double image of it as it just... Mm. Is it it attacking me with a spell or an an attack? An attack. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. It doesn't get you. Mm -hmm. But it pulls around with another hand. Two hand enemies. I rolled a fifteen. You rolled a fifteen. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Okay. It's too close. We do still have our temporary hit points, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Though I was gonna ask because I get my spirit tones back on a short rest, but. The temporary hit points last till a long. Temporary hit points long. last till a long rest. If you do it again, source. if your hit, if your temporary hit points are down, they'll go back. Like I'm down yeah. five. They don't stack. They okay. just go back. A new off. source replaces all of yeah. them. So then it will. Okay. The second one. Where are you, unicorn? Claws down you. You take nine points of damage. And in a flash, not only it pulls you around and has you here, and oh, you are grappled. No. Mm. And all of you can see, in fact, as it opens its mouth, there are fangs, but the two fangs are amber. Cool. Tight. Super vampire. Tight. I really do like that a lot. Okay. That was as you were casting a spell, but it was in enough time as it was already on top of you that you can now choose to do something else as you are grappled. Sweet. (laughs) That was, that's, this is fine. Anarchy is going first, right? Anarchy is going first. She will, in fact... Eh, yeah, you know what? She's going to fly up. Grant me advantage okay. on assist. Don't forget about your mirror. If you have you already used her. Uh, I have used mine. I don't yeah. think you and I have. I am going I to. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just. Uh, I'm gonna do a shocking grasp. Yep. Yep. I believe so. Real bad if a 19 doesn't hit. Uh, I got um, 11, but I'm going to dump the power surge into it as well, so it becomes 15. Got it. Yeah, so just. Good. <laughs> you grab on to the arm and just. And electricity, and just ah, it's still hurting, but it's like foolish, so foolish. We'll see, it's foolish. Romer, 
It is your turn. Uh, so I look over to where Van Rick. Where's the kid crawling from? Uh, I'll go ahead and just put kind of right here. All right, I'm going to Misty Step between them if I can. I'm going to attempt to Misty Step. You can attempt to, and you cannot. Okay. You. You at the barrier, and within the mist, you hit the barrier and kind of come out of it, stumbling. Can I hear anything on the other side? You can hear. You can hear just fine. Okay. It doesn't seem to stop any sound. Okay. But you just can't get over there. Shit. Rickton, you're a hunter. Be a hunter of monsters. Go ahead and uh, roll persuasion. Okay. (laughs) You know you don't have to pre-roll those. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. for these ones, oh, yeah. Those, those are rerolls yeah, still. Yeah, okay, so let me just. Mm-hmm. I'll use it. 12. Can you check your mic for me, too? It's pointing the wrong way. It, as you, you say, be a hunter for a moment, you can hear, you can see that he's almost listening, and he's. You're like, a hunter, a hunter. But you also hear a voiceover. It's like, Father, no. <laughs> Was that an action? Oh, the shout now. Okay. Then I'm going to move back over mm-hmm. with my movement. Yeah. And I'm going to attack him. It yeah. was a bonus action. Talk. Yeah. Move. You can absolutely, uh, absolutely do that. So I will swing at him thusly. Uh, 15 was the lowest, and a 23. Yeah, you hit. Oh, those are both. They hit. Oh, uh, 15 does not hit, okay. but 23 hits. Right. Uh, so 14 damage. Okay. You... Dig in. Uh, you can feel... As your blade sinks in... Does it drain something? You can force him to make a save, right? Yes. To, to yeah. drain. You yeah. definitely, you can feel a Jatha, and as you see the blade, you see your patron in it. Mm-hmm. It's no longer... Like, freaking out? No longer freaking out, exactly. It's like calm and kind of looking down, and in fact, it seems incredibly interested in this. Ah, cool. The other thing, actually, that you all notice as you look at it again, you're like, that's not a human. That's a fallen Asimar. Tight. There's something about the way it moved that you're like, that's an Asimar. Cool. It is a DC 15 con. Okay. It's going to go ahead and roll it. Uh, you can feel that you've drained something, and it's... Uh, uh, and you... It feels good, doesn't it? And it's just... To be drained. It's like... <laughs> Elvin. I will spring some vines from the floorboards to enhance druid craft boy him. Okay. So it's a 16 con save. Man, they just don't like me today. <laughs> In fact, the boards start to spring up. And as they do, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you're still in a nightmare as they start, and he just. He's like, and I am controlling the nightmare. Nice. Cool. Uh, Give you a horrible inspiration yeah. there. <laughs> hey, I just remembered one thing, Jeff, that I don't think we've ever articulated, so I said, no need to change it now. When we were talking about short rest, we did say any hour long effects end, because otherwise it gets too stacky to have like both a, an hour long effect and only a three minute rest. Yeah, well, I got rid of I recast it. You recast it before the rest. Was all I was saying. For now, oh, I, I see what you're saying. For exactly that reason, we were like, because that's one of the mechanics of balancing out hour-long things. Like that's I cast fair. a tech no, magic, no, now fair. I take that's a rest. Fair. That's fair. Anything that's less than an hour. Anything that has less than yeah. that an hour or less on it goes away on yeah. a short rest. Yeah, that makes sense. I do. We, I haven't put that in the wiki either. I'll update that. No, I do like that. I yeah, know we've talked about. It. I think that's the first time remember, that's yeah, come I, up. yeah. I've never talked to you guys. Yeah, yeah, no, like no, you had no idea. Yeah. I think I, uh, since I use it, how does that work? It's not an action to just say something dumb. No, no, you can consider it to be your interact. Yeah. So I think you just as kindly as you can say, that's not your son. 
and just reach his hand out to him. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and make a persuasion check, okay. please. Uh, that's a 12. Not very okay. persuasive. And he's like, not, not my son. No, oh, of course. Yes, of course it is. And still just slowly, with a stake in hand, crawling. And you can see Van Richten's physical form in the corner just... Twitching. Twitching. Mm. Okay. Well, fuck you then. And with that on 20, Metis is like, Doctor, you always misunderstood. All you have to do this time is undo what you did last time. Just don't kill him. Just don't kill him. Tight. Seems fine. I think as I'm being grappled, I'm just like, Elbin, help me! <laughs> help me! <laughs> Let's go to the battle cam. Okay. I will cast a shield. Okay. Uh, assuming that's an attack on me. That is an attack yeah. on you. I'm sorry. What is your total at 20. now? 20. 20. Afraid still got it. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Brutal. As fangs just... Ugh. Not only do they dig into you and you feel your life being drained, in your memories, even happy memories of learning, suddenly Doc Claude is there. Like, what are you studying? Mm. just throughout like you start to see him like as you're in class and it's now staring at you from across the room it's like fascinating tight I mean I hate it but tight <laughs> okay so sorry sorry okay so I'm just gonna kind of roll this one over here all right so You, yeah, there's no roll on that one, I'm afraid. You take three points of necrotic damage and you are also, your hit point maximum is reduced by that. And you also take 10 piercing damage. As you, you two see, actually you, you're right next to it. As you see it drinking, and Killian's eyes trying to focus. You can see where that sword wound is as it starts to... All my hard work. Good, that's fine. And as it does that, it reaches a claw out toward, towards you. Disadvantage. At disadvantage. Yeah. Nope. And it misses as you're able to kind of... It's still digging in and it looks like it is savoring every bite as you kind of knock the hand away and it's just <gasps> it's still grappling him still grappling okay. him Killian it is your turn right. I'm just looking up a quick spell Let's see if this works I don't think it does nope all right uh man he is in a in a tight spot here I think I'm just going to have Anarchy uh, assist again and, and hit with another Shocking Grasp. Okay. Uh, 19. That hits. I do think uh, if he can... Oh my god, I know what he's going to do. Potions. So first of all, it's 15 damage. I also forgot that potions are a bonus, bonus action. action. He's going to pop that oil of sip slipperiness and just like... Ah, 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 sticking his tongue down to drink it. You know, it's like a DM knew a vampire hunter <laughs> lived here and set something up. I completely forgot about that. So he will drink no, the I oil remember you saying that earlier. <laughs> like sharpness and slipperiness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and after drinking the oil of slipperiness, he will slide out <laughs> and across the room. Yeah, you are. And it doesn't seem to understand how you, it, it continues to try to push, and you just, oh, <laughs> Alex Mack away. And you're, and you're born again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and no attack of opportunity, because 
or maybe does oil of slipperiness not give you a tax opportunity? I don't know. Uh, I, don't know that I think it, it still yeah. would. Either way, uh, shock and grasp would. That's correct. Okay. Oh, Romer. Uh, so I will bonus action and drink my potion of hill giant strength. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> when did I give you all that? I had that from the very beginning. Oh, that's that right. Was one, yeah, I, now, I, I, was like, I keep forgetting I have it. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then uh, uh, is is it an action to use the coin? Nope. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's just your interact is what yeah. I said. Okay. But then I wouldn't be able to talk if I did that. I would say not to okay. roll, to, to hold on to the coin yeah, you and understand. focus. Understood. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Uh, I will look over over to Van Richten. I'm going to say, your boy, he freed us. He, he's not there. He's, he is a spirit, but he freed us. Go ahead and roll persuasion for me. 19? Okay. He stops for a moment. You have to kill him again. You see him just kind of frozen in place for now. Okay. That's what you see for now. Okay. All right. So I will take a little swing at old Toother. So a 13 and a 17. 17 hits. Okay. So uh, 13 damage. Mm -hmm. It just, ah, it's like, what? The frightening knows that. Oh, does he need to make a save? Yeah, if you want him to. I do. Jath is thirsty. More is pulled out, and this time it almost looks like if you drop, like if you drop a solution and, and it Long. spills kind yeah. of throughout mm. the blade, and you see your patron grab it, almost like it's a string, and look at it. And it's like, the frightening Fobator knows that blade. Fobator, huh? Mm-hmm. The frightening. A name you should be familiar with. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anything Basically, else for me, my dude? The no, I think I've used up every single action I could. You, you did well. <laughs> Elvin. I think he'd try again with the uh, druid craft, making some something come out of the wall next to him. Hell yeah. I'm trying to... Uh, con? Yeah. I fails. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. Uh, 2d12s. Thank you for giving me a use for them. <laughs> so now I know the difference. Uh, mm. 16. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. And disadvantage on his next That's weapon right. attack. That's right. You made this. I did. <laughs> I did this. Uh, you've been kind of trying to focus... And something about the room feels like it might have changed. And it almost is a delay from what you tried to do earlier. Like it's been building. And your vines come out and start just kind of piercing through. So you just, it's just, ah, ah. Mm. Toys. On initiative count 20, mm -hmm. the skeletal form of Erasmus is clasping Van Richten's shoulder and you can see and it's like please father and Van Richten takes a moment to kind of hold his hand and close his eyes and he pulls up the stake and stakes him again but it is an awful guttural just ah! mm. but with that the bones fall and the other bones fall and Metis is like, is sucked out, and that that kind of line seems to go. And actual Van Richten is. There's a vampire over here, you might want to kill him. We'll just make that. I'm just gonna make this just Van switch Richten. It for him. Yeah. Okay, it is its go. Well, you are right there. Disadvantage, which I guess it already had disadvantage, but a claw, a hand tries to come out, doesn't get you. And again. Nope. Does not. Protection from me. As it's kind of pulling against the vines and just. Oh. But you do see that wounds are still healing 
slowly. Mm. He's just like, ah, the frightening will take all of you. I serve Fobator now. Kill him. Question. Yeah. My shocking grasp seem to be affecting it normally, right? Seem to. I mean, it's taking damage. Cool. All right. First, I think Killian would look at Van Richten to see how he's doing. And just, you know, sort of a ocular pat down. <laughs> eyes are sharp. You haven't seen the eye. When you first met Van Richten, the eyes were that sharp. And I mean, he... <sighs> All right, I think Killian was just like, you were wise to see through the deception. Uh, and then he's going to pull all of the air around him into his hands and fire off a fire, uh, fire off a uh, lightning bolt. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Fireball. Fireball. Please, dude. <laughs> no. Lightning bolt. So, yeah. Lightning bolt will be a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Made it. Damn. All right, well, it's still 8d6, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of damage. Sure you have six sixers. Oh, I got enough six sixers. I bought I'll these with all you, my sir. spells in mind, my dude. <laughs> wow, pretty bad. Yeah, that was pretty low. Uh, let's see, that's 10, 15, 19, uh, 23, 25. Gotcha, so it 12. takes 12. It's 12. Cool. Magic missile would have done better. <laughs> this is gone, right? Yeah, but it's it, it, it's just like yeah. old mistress. Yeah, you know, it would be ridiculously good. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, Anarchy should have gone before me, but she will give Romer advantage. Okay, got it. Romer. All right, with advantage. Uh, twenty-six. Yeah, that that hits. And a crit. Ooh, tight. <laughs> Yep. Please go ahead. So, this, oh, I, mean, I gotta do them separately, actually. Uh, reroll this with, because I keep forgetting with my great weapon ma- or weapon masters. So, that's. So does it matter if I divide it up or I just give you a total? Uh, total. Oh. Total's fine. Right. Uh, reroll your, your twos. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, let's. Uh, 41 damage. Wow. As two con saves if, I, if he needs them. If he's still, I'm assuming he's still alive. Oh, yeah, actually, he does need them. So here are both of them. What was I trying to beat? 15? 15. More and more mm-hmm. is just being pulled out. And with that, even, you can see in the window of your blade. It's like the mirroring your movements of your patron. I mean, you're moving at the same time, and it's pulling, just pulling more out. It's just a, ah, 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 Fobator offers no gifts except reprieve. You don't look so good. Just, ah. <laughs> the drinker has become the drunken? No, no, the drunkard? That doesn't work. <laughs> Elvin. How does he look? Uh, he's looking rough. Okay. I think Elvin would put his hand on Rickton and just kind of look at him and take in what he just must have gone through. And in an unelvenly rage, just go up here and <laughs> savage attack him. Fuck. For making oh, him yeah. suffer. Mm, tint. There they are. Oh, I should actually roll the No, I don't. You were that good. <laughs> I can't have Odin's <laughs> rage not work out. Oh, 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 damn! I told you he was Is in rage. Is it D12s or D10s? These are D10s. Okay. For a savage. Oh, you're doing your savage, right? You're the one. Or primal savage, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. A little Sean roll there. 13. Wait, no. 14. I'm an idiot. 14, yeah. Fuck yeah. You just... I mean, the cruelty of this. The absolute sadism that this has taken. Just... Our tearing is just... Ah, you're starting to tear skin, too. And you're seeing what looks like almost filaments in the bones of amber. Mm. Just... Tight. Just... I mean, 
it's coming apart. It's still definitely standing for sure, but it's just <sighs> Van Richten. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I see my nightmare. <sighs> you fools. I've lived with my nightmares for so long. And there's a sheep. And he rips off and you see the symbol of mm. Lathander. Yeah, tight. And the room just kind of erupts in sunlight. And just the vampires just ah, has one last dying breath. I would chase you, Van Richten. <laughs> Round the game. Petition's flame. Round petition's flame. He tasks me. Okay, I did. It did bite you, right? Mm -hmm. I need you to roll an intelligence saving throw, but I needed a disadvantage. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, uh, I am going to use my arcane deflection to give me a plus four, and so I got a 13. That is not enough, I'm afraid, my dude. Damn. I rolled a two, got a 13. Mm. So I'm plus seven on it. Wow, that's crazy. What's all that for? Uh, I didn't roll. Got a Sean roll. Poor Sean. 24. 24. I am down. You take 24 okay, damage. That knocks me down. As you start to feel, it feels like your identity that you think of in your own mind is being pulled out of you. Every memory has Duck Claude in it. And in fact, he's ruining some of them. Happy moments. He's slaughtering people around. Was there some kind of visible effect to what he did? Uh, you see, yeah, I'd give you that. I think you see the amber uh -huh. just start to like kind of glow, and you see Killian just <laughs> blood is coming out of his nose and his ears as he hits. Mm. Duck Cloud is, I mean, burning up now, but still managing to stand. That's all it could do. Killian, I need a death save, please. Don't you roll up, mother. Pass. Okay. Where Whistler could not. <laughs> <laughs> the light goes away. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly four more. Uh. Okay. Uh, Romer, it is your go. All right. I will be drawing an attack opportunity as I okay. move away from him. Gotcha. At disadvantage. That's right. Missed. Okay. I'm going to move over to him. Actually, wait, 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 wait. What's your armor class? 17. Actually, one did get you. Okay. Was that two attacks or one attack? That was disadvantage. Yeah. So the bottom one got you. Okay. Gotcha. I mean. I Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's right. Yeah, it wasn't. All right. Uh, you take 12 points of damage, and unfortunately, you are also grappled. Oh, man. As you try to, to go, and it... <laughs> and pulls you in and also seems to be trying to use you as a shield from the sunlight as it's just ah. and in fact in that moment I'm going to give it like Fobitor knows who you serve and the blade you won't make it uh so crap okay what's well, the so I'm going to use a, uh an action okay to I'm still gonna have disadvantage um that's not going to be interact. I'm going to flip, flip, flip the coin. Mm -hmm. And just roll normally. Because I'm a disadvantage token. I'm exhausted. Yeah. So, strength, or, uh, sorry, athletics. To try mm -hmm. to break out. Yeah. 15. 15 makes it, yeah. Okay. You. I, ah. just, and as it's flipping in the air, I'm assuming it's going to be heads. And I just slam him in the, in the stomach and just kind of kick him back away. And then catch it as he goes back you, from me. You got it. You absolutely. As it's still in the sunlight, just. Ah. Uh, so that was my 
action. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll move over. Mm-hmm. Uh, bonus action. Give him a potion. Action to it's feed action. it to somebody. Oh, is it an action? Yeah. Uh, bonus action to take it yourself, but to kind of angle it, you got to do an action. Okay. Okay. Um, but you're over there. But I am over there. Okay. That Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm going to come back up on my own. <laughs> I hope you're right. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Elvin. I will just give him a healing word. Mm-hmm. Do it up. I think Killian would awaken screaming. <laughs> like catching his breath, like thrashing around a little bit. For a moment, you have a hard time because even all of your memories with them also involved this oh, thing. And it feels like you've been there for years. There are times when you're like, oh, God, a safe memory with Elbin, and it turned into Doc Cloud. You're... It got in there deep. Four. Nice. I think I'd be healing you with the kindest, most worried eyes imaginable. You can attack as your cantrip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I will. Or not. Poorly. You tried. How's a one? That's what matters. You... Heal him, and as you turn it, honestly, it's purely that this thing is like primally moving all over the place because it's burning. But that's but that's it. I think after after healing Killian, he was only like halfway there for the fight because yeah, he was yeah. all mm-hmm. he was all worried. Thank you, Carapace. Oh, Carapace, appreciate that. I believe Carapace saved some player characters uh, Sunday night. Some of them. <laughs> Not all of them. But some of them may survive. Yeah. Uh, actually, with that, on, on that move, it just finally... And it's just like, the frightening will still get all of you. And kind of falls. You first. And Van Richten stands over it. We're going to take our second break, everybody, and we'll be back here in just a few. Hey, y'all, we're back with another installment of MacLore 1997. Um, I forget. <laughs> it's MacLore 1997. The title. Uh, and today we're going to talk about today. Like, you're watching this multiple days. This is a disaster, but we're gonna keep rolling because that's yeah. how we do. Uh, gonna talk about our Princes of the Apocalypse campaign, and if you're watching this on YouTube or catching up, Princes of the Apocalypse rolls into Castle Mac versus Elemental Evil because yeah. my man killed us all. <laughs> Party wipe. It was great. They, they killed themselves. Them. Yeah, yeah, we we kind of did. I mean, if you watch it, there were some, <laughs> there were some points that you were like, no, nope, could have saved it. Uh, why don't you give us a setup? For okay, Princes so of the Princes of the Apocalypse, the kind of the newly published remake of Temple of Elemental mm-hmm. Evil. Uh, it started out, again, we had maybe, uh, it takes place after our original campaign, Horde of the Dragon Queen, right. about a year, year and a half uh, right. difference. Actually, no, I think it was about two years at this point. Uh, year and a half yeah, to two. Yeah, it was about a year and a half. Year and a half to two. So the Sword Coast is fairly devastated, right. um, but adventurers were needed. And so we had the lovely characters. I'll start with this and then Steven can say the other one. So his character of Broderick Reinwald, an old non-commissioned officer mm-hmm. who was a bard but had no vicious mockery or anything right. like that, uh, that was far past his prime and looking for a good time to die. Had lived his life with his family and needed a bit to lead the... Uh, the other two a bit. Yeah, yeah, he was a fun character. And then, of course, Andrew played uh, Heinrich, uh, who was a cleric slash potentially avatar of Tempest, which was a lot of fun to explore. He that. was the son of Tempest. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, Lydia came in and played Adara, who was a fire genasi. Uh, didn't get to explore a lot of her story because we all died. Uh, and then our, our friend Jeff played for a little while there at the beginning as. Um, Oh gosh, I get Nos. the two of them. Yeah, Nas, because Nal was Andrew's name. Yeah. Um, and, and he was like an assassin wizard, uh, had been trained to be this assassin and had kind of broken away from it. Um, so anyway, so, so that campaign, like Sean said, was a, a year and a half after uh, the rise of Tiamat. And I think in our kind of head, it was a lot of the scattered cultists that was the, looking for a cause. The question, like, arcane knowledge they were part right. of a cult that clearly got destroyed and I think the uh, 
the prophets of elemental evil. Well, were, coffee grindage? Yeah. You guys got the coffee grindage? Uh, we're, That's you know, canon. recruiting. Uh, but the big thing, they saved a small town called Red Larch. Yeah. They went into the ruins of Tyar Basile, which was this dwarven city, and then something beneath it, the Fane of the Eye. Mm-hmm. The characters fought a number of dungeons throughout there. They, uh, they were able to get one of the uh, elemental weapons, the yep. legendary, and they ended up calling Nithvis' help when Adara didn't want to give it up, kind of Lord mm-hmm. of the Rings style. Yeah, Windvane, right? Is that the one? That was the one. Yeah. So Nithvis suddenly became aware <laughs> of the full situation, and when they did not make it out of one of the dungeons at all, uh, that's when the kind of original high-level heroes right. decided to step in. Right. So we kind of use that just as an opportunity to revisit our OG characters, those those same characters we've been talking about, Ennis, Nithbis, Kothai. Really, those three kind of came back, along with young Wayland, who had... Everything all right up there? Who had just returned from... <laughs> From uh, Barovia. We're going to keep rolling. You yeah, guys get yeah. this raw. This is it. Monday Night Castle. Raw. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, <and> so, <laughs> so, so the four of them uh, descended into the Fane, having, you know, Nithbis realizing how important it was. And they got there, and, you know, I'll just say, knowing that Waterdeep was right around the corner, we had like three sessions, I think, until Waterdeep was in our hands. I knew I wanted to wrap it up relatively quickly to at least kind of finish off the story. I'll let you run that to the end there. So, Steven <laughs> had a genius idea. <laughs> so, one, to save time, and two, the OGs are those characters going through each of those dungeons. Those dungeons are very elaborate, so mm-hmm. anybody who wants to do a, a, you know, a lot of complex dungeons, that's the one for you. There's some really cool ideas in there. They're so. dope. Yeah, and we didn't spoil much of it. Yep, we, we missed a lot of it. So as the heroes descended, they come across the remaining prophets and think this ritual's about to start. To the prophet's surprise, something goes wrong. Mm-hmm. And instead, Tiamat manages to tear through and interrupt their ritual mm-hmm. to come back. This time, far stronger than last time. Mm-hmm. The heroes take a beating, they give as much as they get to Tiamat realizing that it is... They're not gonna win. ...is dire. Maybe. I think they had it still, but anyways. Oh, I had it. <laughs> Y'all were good. Uh, Waylon decides to call on the help of a legendary wizard who appears, mm-hmm. is frightened, and manages to use a high-level disintegration spell to push back Tiamat again. So... The elemental cults essentially were, were dealt with and undone, frankly, more by Tiamat. Right. <laughs> uh, and Tiamat was pushed back again. But as of now, the original heroes are kind of scattered. Nithvis is spending all of her resources trying to figure out how to stop Tiamat. Right, very focused on that, kind of almost singularly. Ennis is still uh, helping, I mean, still being the matron of the church and, you know, lending any support she can to those who've been wounded. Wayland, through the Mac Marches, is setting up a castle now. Yep. Kothai is wandering as he always does and making sure that the Sky Reach is completed. Yep. The rebuilt Sky Reach. I think that kind of wraps up the the Mac lore in, uh, in the, the briefest terms that we can give it. So, a quick high level timeline, right? Yep. Tyranny of Dragons in, in Mac lore was three years ago, from where we're at right now. We're recording this video as of we just recorded Waterdeep Dragon Heist Episode 7. That's the current state of the art, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the current timeline. So, minus three years is the start of the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. And that lasted about six months of game time, mm-hmm. given all the travel and the caravan time. Yep. About six months, maybe a little shorter, but we'll call it six months. Uh, after that, about a year and a half passed until Princes of the Apocalypse and Strahd took place sort of in a little window. There was one little crossover, yep. I think, in, in Princes of the Apocalypse. Or no, in Strahd, you guys saw the tree and got a glimpse of the heroes from Princes of the Apocalypse because it yes. was looking into different realms. That's right. Strahd's worth watching if, if you guys want. I, I think it was pretty awesome. Yeah. They're all worth watching if you got time. Um, so, so, and, and then Princes lasted maybe two months in game time, mm-hmm. something like that. 
And then we kind of jumped ahead to uh, more or less where we're at right now with Waterdeep Dragon High. So about three years after that war, uh, which, uh, again, kind of devastated the Sword Coast in our world. You know, as we kind of were thinking about it, it's not really spoken so much in the book, but the, the metallic dragons say we want half of that horde, and that horde represented a massive amount of I mean, theft. The entire fortune of the right. Sword Coast. Right, so... Yeah, so so we decided, you know, hey, you know, that would be hard to recover from. So they're they're getting there now, but that that's informed a lot of the uh, a lot of the situation on the Sword Coast and has left a little bit of a power vacuum for someone willing to unite people. Correct. Charismatic leader. Mm-hmm. With the powers of the dark gods of a dark pantheon that's been long forgotten. Yep. So stay tuned for that. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. We got anything else we want to add? Anything else that's worth worth noting? Yeah, we'll do another video. If we yeah, can, cool. I think we need to add more. All right, this was fun. I hope this uh, was helpful. Hope this provided some context for you guys. It's been fun to kind of revisit it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks, y'all. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to MacLore 1997. <laughs> Actual special effects yeah, to be we're added get that later. In post. Yeah. Neon. If you see that so, and it's not in there, just yeah. remind us that we yeah, we'll get, we will get to it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about open, threads. open uh, threads. A couple things that are probably good to keep an eye on throughout uh, the games and mm -hmm. mention them. We think that we can let you guys in. First and foremost, as most of you have probably guessed if you've been watching, the Shards of Amber. Mm -hmm. uh, what are those? Where are they from? Well... They were from another realm in the Shadow Plane uh, that managed to have a new champion in Kaecilius, which we just should mention in the same yeah. breath. Yeah, same breath. That is 100% the aftermath of Strahd. We like to keep it going, right? So yep. the end of Strahd, there's a little stinger scene, right, that shows Kaecilius on the Sword Coast with some amber where and, and you know this is a spoiler alert for Strahd so close your ears if you are playing Strahd or don't know this already but there's a temple there that have these amber sarcophagi where these elder evil gods are essentially they're like these shards of the, the remnants of these gods are kept so we kind of figured hey wouldn't it be cool though if those play into it because clearly if they were encased in this temple like something epic happened long ago prison <laughs> Before you is the charred remains, but still the remains <clears throat> of Doc Claude. The light seems to have dissipated a bit, though there's still, still somehow, it seems almost magically lit in here. And Van Richten leans heavy on his cane, but steps forward. Each one of you are fine, fine young men. Thank you. Of course. So I had to go through that again. As am I. Just glimpsing at it from afar was terrifying enough for me. There are darknesses in this life that will always try to close in on everyone. I have seen much, and I am a cursed man. But I hope those curses don't extend to others. It is our job to be the light. Each one of you, very strong, a good hunter, looks, picks up one of his books, it's like, like, anyone, you can all read it. It's Van Richten's Guide to Monsters. Oh, nice. You guys will get some benefits, like advantage on knowing resistances oh, and immunities cool. and things like that, because awesome. it's a detailed book. Sweet. Like, I thought I left this place behind. Well, still, I'm not sure what could be here that would be a gateway to Barovia. Kill him. You're still looking at Doc Claude. You're still getting over the awful memories and the Baba Yaga's. Oh, <laughs> the Baba Yaga's words, doors open when feathers fall. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think Kelly would be standing there thinking, and then just you guys would probably see his like demeanor completely change, and he'd be staring down. I think I might know the way. Well, what is it? 
I think Killian would do everything to avoid Elvin's eye contact. <laughs> I think he's feeling like... And Elvin would be like staring straight at him like yeah. concerned. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, I learned of a ritual that requires the remains of an Asimar. I don't know for certain if these will work or not. But I suspect it will. Doors open where feathers fall. That's what she said to me. A Baba Yaga. Now I know what she means. A Baba Yaga never lies. I'll need each of your help. Because look at Elvin. <laughs> It'll take everyone's help. Sure. We need. What are we doing? I'll show you. Reach into his pouch, pull out the chalk. Please. Before he starts, I I I have I still have the potion of extra healing. Oh yeah, he is probably like gone. All right, Just, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Hang on to it. I've got two of my own. I'll drink one now. Save one for later. I appreciate it. And Rickman's like, grab a few things from here before we leave. I still have most of my things. Uh, question for you. Sure. From the ritual, do I feel like we might have a little bit of time? Or do I feel like we need to execute this right now? Because I think Killian is itching to try out his new key. Uh... I don't know if you know that you have that much time. Alright. Alright. And Rickton grabs a couple things. He's like, ah, yes, I knew I left some of these up here. He's like, here, one for each of you. They look like pearls. He's like, it's a burst of sunlight. He's like, you can throw it down, it'll be a flash of sunlight. Vampires heal, but this would give them damage that only lasts maybe six seconds. So daylight six for one for one round or uh, I mean for six rounds for your one round yeah oh that's right you said six seconds sorry. one round six yeah rounds. six rounds thank you he'll put it in his capona pouch I need all the candles we can find I have some down there also a very sharp knife I have a very sharp knife all right I'll start drawing the circles on the ground be like. If you can draw these identical on that side. All right. We'll probably have to pause a little while to remember. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, of course, it's the uh, third. Yeah, the third. The inner third of the moon shadow. Right, got it. He's <laughs> been <It's pretty laughs> yeah. to himself about some weird shapes. Uh, you do realize, as you're looking at it, you're like, it should work. Like, it's going to be unstable. Mm -hmm. You're almost probably like, it's one dead. Two, I, I was a vampire. He'll, he'll share that once we're a little further along. Like, there is one thing about this ritual. And for the record, that's why I left this ritual. It, the subject is normally alive. So if this works, it's unlikely to be reliable. So you, you did this in a while. I didn't. Oh, good. Good to go. He puts his hand on his shoulder. Well, no. I understand all that. The others did. They discovered this. Alright, help me out. What well, I'm gonna make sure the blade is unsummoned. Okay. So that no one see no one else uh, sees this ritual. Got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'll continue giving Van Richten some orders. Like we'll need a rope. We have to string him up. You know, like, I understand. He follows the orders exactly however you give them. I think Elben, as he's, you know, copying the designs, he would say, you're better than them, you know, that's why you're here, and they're not. Oh man, I think I think Killian would draw that kind of stop and look directly at you and be like, I do know that, thank you. You've made me better, Elben, thank you. Anyways, watch that. That's the, that's when <laughs> Venus aligns. Well, I can leave if you do. Want to <laughs> He just takes a swig of wine. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Alright, start laying the candles out. Don't light them yet. They light in a very particular order. Ben Richten's looking. 
being unstable, as I said. He's like, we'll be circus performers there. He puts on a ring, and he looks like a half-elf mm. ringmaster. He's like, this has been my alter ego for some time. <laughs> I like to imagine the cameras on him, like this is, and we're all just like bedraggled and sunken <laughs> and bloody. Like, yeah, we got it. <laughs> it's completely different. Van Richten takes it off, and you see him sink kind of immediately. It's like, now remember when we get there, we'll have to find the three things that would kill him, like, and whatever. Well, you have your own mission, as I have mine. Where are we going to end up? You know. <laughs> Did Baba Yaga tell you? No. What do you know of the land? What can we expect? We've been there, you know. We saw the castle being built. This must have been hundreds of years ago. I've seen drawings of the castle. Some that have made it out with Vishtani. It's under different circumstances would be thought of as magnificent if it wasn't so oppressive. Uh, the land isn't that big. It'd be like a region uh, of a small country. It's... Mm. You can make it from end to end in days, but you cannot leave it. All the terrain is dangerous. Wolves, werewolves roam the lands. There are probably witches of some sort. Who knows what other untold horrors. Can you remind me what the conditions are for us to leave? Do we you, find someone? No, you guys have the... Well, sort of. You guys each have a horn. Right. And you have to make it to the Baba Lasaga, oh. the sister of the Baba yeah. Yaga. Yeah. And you have to blow the horns yeah. in, you have in order. color horns. Right. Okay. I, just... yeah, I remember, but I, I figured it would be better if you told it. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You look like an eight. All right. I think we're ready. I think you'll hand each person a candle. Like, there's some words to repeat after me. I'm going to try to recall them. I think he'll recall some pseudo, yeah, sure. pseudo Latin. Yeah, you got it. And then he'll sort of take a deep breath and cut across the stomach of the remains. Cut down. Pull some stuff out from inside. <laughs> All while repeating the ritual. All of you in unison repeat the words just as Killian told you. And on one final turn of the knife in the heart... A rift opens up that looks like shadowy energy. It looks like a doorway into woods. You can feel it, though. You're like, I'm not going to hold this open very long. Yeah, I think about it. Go! Go! Before that, you jump through quickly. You guys hear a scream outside. Ah! That Sounds like Esmeralda. And he's like, a trick. I can't hold this! He looks at the mirror and you guys can see it. And you can see Esmeralda in the wagon. And you see her fall asleep. And you can hear a voice. It's like, he needs your help. He can't do it alone. <laughs> you see her turn the wagon around, like, I'm coming for you. It shifts again to right outside the manor and you see werewolves closing in. And Van Richten closes it. He's like, not now! Not now! He puts it away. He's like, my time will get me there soon. Do what you must to make atonement. Got to be with you. Oh, man. I think he'll be watching. He's like, there's no time. Go, 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 go! I'm already through. Yeah. <laughs> So he's implying that he's going to go... Up yeah, the he's, yeah, he's already running Meanwhile, through the door. Meanwhile, Romer's on the other side. Guys! Oh, yeah. Go, Elbin, I'm right behind you. All right. Dart through. You do. I think Gillian will jump through. You drop the heart on the way as it closes behind you. You're in what would be an evergreen woods. Crunchy leaves underneath. It's cool feels vastly different. The ground itself, in fact, you notice first. The trees, the ground, everything leads back to what you feel is a gigantic tree. Everything feels malevolent. Everything feels like it's in pain. It's both screaming and ready to destroy. It is the most viscerally upsetting to you. But all of you feel it. You feel the shadows. 
So we're just like in a field or you, a forest? You are in the woods. You can see a road right out. There is moonlight for sure. Well, he, I'm sure I, if I, as I got through, whether I hit the ground or whatever, he'd be up with his sword out, just kind of keeping, protecting the area for, for whatever as they get through, waiting for all three of them to come through. In those moments that you were waiting, you felt like you heard the crunching of paws and a couple, oh, shit. As soon as they come through, though, things sound like they turn and disperse. Hmm. You're like you're prepped. You're like here we here I'll we go. I'll look at the sword to see if I can see my patron. You or sense my patron. You do. Okay. You do. I mean, you sense it there, but it does. It's again a bit like in the nightmare. Is he screaming and banging against the blade this time? No. It seems like it's contemplative. Huh. Like it. You can see the kind of shadowy figure, almost pacing, thinking, but it does still feel. Farther. I just love the idea of my patron in my blade, and I can see that. That's really cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think Killian is just going to grab the uh, the edict, the invitation we got from Strahd, and like hold it in his hand. It's feeling like, you know, should be fine with this. Yeah, you know, plus one on that. <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> I don't cross like that. <laughs> All right, we should get going. I think Gillian will look up to try to take his bearings, see if he can see any distinguishing well, features. Where's, where's Richter? Did he not make it through? No. Esmeralda fell. What? Into the nightmare. He had to go help her. Does that make sense? Well, he's going to get back here. It is what it is. I just start walking towards the road. I'm looking up. Did they, did they ever? Did you guys ever describe the castle in any way? It didn't have much. It was okay. really just being built yeah, too. So it maybe had so one. I'm not necessarily looking up to the mountains. I, I think I'm just looking for the road, and I'm just heading towards it. I, honestly, it's, it doesn't take long. As soon as you guys kind of get out on the road, and you pass kind of another copse of trees, you see a small town, shingled roofs, a cobblestone that leads up and silhouetted against the night sky is a massive castle. It looks like it's just standing tall across the rest of this land. That's where we gotta go? That's where we gotta go. We gotta find what, a library in there? Yes. There's gotta be someone who's been there before. Could be. And we could find these Vishani or Scotty or whatever they're called. We have an invitation. I say we just go. You think? Well, he was a different man back then. He was. He sent that creature here, after Richton, obviously. Not a good dude. We aren't his enemy. He doesn't know that we helped Richton. Do we need that for sure? No. But there's nothing to say that us... Poking around and asking Vishtani for a way in won't make him our enemy either. That's a good point. All right, to the castle it is. Head to the castle? To the castle, my dude. You guys cut through these streets. It's not too yeah, far. Has fallen one more time. Can you, uh, you might be able to clip it to the wire underneath. That's what I do. It was actually. Okay. It doesn't take you too long. It's only maybe a mile and a half away from where you are, and you're kind of heading up these streets that look... It's night. There's almost nobody out. You hear a couple animals, maybe cats or something, just... And you see maybe only one... Maybe it looks like a somebody selling something. It looks like a woman in a cloak pushing a... <laughs> A small cart kind of through and knocking on doors. Some people don't answer, but you have enough time that you see some people do and almost seem to furiously grab whatever Does they're it look selling. Like food? It does look like food. Call hungry. Maybe we shouldn't. No, probably not. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this. Uh, I'm going to unsummon the blade, though. Okay, you got it. 
Sorry, Castle Mac Raven oh, just oh, gave us oh. gave us that with a sub, and I think Gem Song also subbed. Oh, so thank you. Nice. thank you guys. So that. I'm sure you won't need it going into Ravenloft. No, I would think it's fine. We'll save them for next time. Though. I got an invitation. What could go wrong? <laughs> you guys make it up to the gates and the towers of this. None of you, even Thaymount. It's not how these things are built in Thaymount. I mean, you look up, I mean, you can barely see past anything. The towers creep up, you see ravens kind of flying, you hear the sounds of bats just... <laughs> and somebody comes, you see the door open, a face look out, kind of hop down and it's got it's kind of it's a humanoid it looks somewhat disfigured and it comes up to the gate and it's like are you really trying to get into the castle we have an invitation I think you'll roll it out <laughs> <laughs> let me see it I see. Okay. <laughs> the gates unlock, and he's like, "Come, come! I am Gregory." Nice to meet you. He's like, "And you?" I think Elvin will not be friendly to any of these people. He's in, like he fucking despises everything that they've done and stand for. So. It's like, so few visitors this way with invitations. <laughs> Everybody has an invitation, I suppose, but not a written one. We saved your master many years ago. Many years. Huh. Well, I suppose thanks for this. And everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Elvin's stomach would sink. <laughs> you step into the castle and you hear the sound of an organ playing. Melodies that sink down into your bones. This place is finely appointed. It's a large staircase that leads up. You pass a banquet hall. All place settings, but no food. Hmm. It sounds like there's whispers that just fall through the place. One of you down the hallway, you look, and it almost looks like there's a clockwork man standing. Not moving, but... You head up the stairs, and large doors open. into a throne room, the large high-backed throne sitting there. And there you see, dressed in fine regalia, though no armor this time, the same Strahd von Zarevich that you knew so many years ago. He's speaking to a woman at his side, and there's one who comes kind of walking up to you, and it's just all vampires as three of them are there just <sighs> and Strahd pulls his hands off the one next to him like, stands up with a cane like well well old friends come to join me Killian that's right. Elvin. Welcome! <laughs> We've come asking your assistance. My assistance? I thought you must have come here for... to take the lordship that I offered you so long ago. We... still have so many things to do we couldn't settle. Hmm. That's curious. Strange, too, that I 
can always hear a heartbeat, no matter where here. I heard two. Strange that I can't hear yours. Well, I don't know why. Pretty sure I have a heartbeat. He's like... He kind of puts his hand on his chest. <laughs> he's like, look, Miller, please, if you'll allow her, just for a listen. Sure. She comes up and brushes right up against you. (laughs) Oh, it's there, my love. It's just slow. Very slow. Uh, What can I say? It makes sense to you. It suddenly all hits. That's the sound. It was never a sound at all since you came back. It was the lack of a sound, in fact. Mm. <sighs> well. So, do I think I'm alive? You decide that right now, or later, but no, you sure. suddenly, that's a new piece of information cool. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Strahd's like, please come in. Ladies, would you get them some chairs? Each of them, again, with that same incredibly fast movement that you saw Doc Law just all have chairs set up. Thank you for your hospitality. You said that to Strahd or the one right next to you? Strahd. like, well, I am nothing if not hospitable to guests. I find this curious. It's been a long, long time since I saw either one of you. And yet you don't look a day older. Nor do I, though. I do look significantly less alive, I think. Time can work mysteriously. Well spoken. The scholar I remember. The learned wizard. Yes. I think Killian is just like choking on his mind right now. Like he's trying to be like, if we insult them, we're dead. So, um, well, this castle. Yes, I'm so sorry. One second. Could, it is, I think I'd like a drink. Would you all like a drink, a bit of wine? Yes. Sure. Wine would be good. He's like, actual wine for them, please. One of the wizard's ones, I should think. I don't know that they'll have the same palace as we do. <laughs> I suspect not. So, you came to ask my assistance. That is confusing. Oh, well, I think it's really rather clear once we lay it out for you. We're looking for information, and we believe it might be held in your vast library. My library is vast. I have gotten so many from other guests and visitors though you two were the first they've left bits here amongst other things anytime okay (laughs) the spirit of Ravenloft (laughs) well here's my most pressing thing. No, you may need information. But you don't plan on staying. Uh, well, is that a problem? Problem? No. Just curious. Have the three of you come here to take something, including knowledge, and then leave? I think we envision it more like we've come to uh, share in your vast riches, uh, your wealth of knowledge, as friends would do. You are clever, but you're not that good at mine, I'm afraid. That's okay, I appreciate the effort. (laughs) Kill it, boy. (laughs) What will it take to get some information? I don't know. It depends on what kind of information I think you want. 
Most people don't get to come in my throne room. In fact, most people don't get to come here at all. But seeing as we have a pre-existing agreement, at least the two of them, you see, I'll allow you to be here unmolested. Except for whatever pleasures you may want, looking at the ladies. And they're like, ah. <laughs> That's most generous of you. The wine comes, it seems thicker than the rest of yours. He's like, to old friends and new friends, I should hope. Me too. <laughs> he doesn't hesitate, he'll just drink it. The wine is excellent. It is actual wine, and it is delicious. He'll, be, he'll, go, he'll drink it like unsure of what it is, and he's like, hmm, that's pretty damn good. It's like, they make it here. One of the only, uh, well, I don't know how I'll put it, one of only two pieces of commerce that we have. Now, Elvin, you're looking a little perturbed. Oh, oh I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want well, him to be a good liar. <laughs> He's like, you know, I can read your heartbeats well. Even you're so slow, your pulses are racing right now. Which is not uncommon for me. How unfortunate. Hmm. Hmm. So, you want information. Hmm. Well, maybe we can get to that. First, we have to continue talking about everything. So please lay out what you need. I'll have questions, of course, to borrow a book from my library. I think I think he'll think about it for a second and just be like, man, they invaded our memories. Like, that's his only experience fighting a vampire. I think Killian probably makes the wager to just lay it out there. So you guys can feel free to, like, elbow him or something, but I think nope, just, I was going to say the same thing. Gonna go for it. As you start to, he, I just kind of yeah. nod to you, like, look, because you're probably looking at us like, should I? Yeah. I'm also going to be careful not to mention Toril, because that would break our canon. <laughs> All right. I'm not trying to pull it a Star Trek Discovery here. I'm not trying to canon. It's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> All right. Well, it's just that where we're from, there is a pressing need to defeat something that has come to destroy our lands. Uh, a noble cause. Uh, its name is Phobator, if you've heard of it. Phobator would be one of... What information have you come for? Uh, any information about how to find it, how to defeat it. Information about it so that we can understand it. Hmm. Tell me, does this Phobator have anything to do with Amber? Uh, just like we were just here for information about it, right? Was there a specific piece of information we were trying to get that I'm not remembering? It said that there would be a book, potentially, yeah. with, like... Yeah, I remember the book. Mm -hmm. but, but that was... The book was what That's we pretty at. much okay, it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think... I think Killian will speak up trying to protect Elvin, because he can probably see Elvin <laughs> squirming. Uh, Elvin yeah. half wants to just, like, start a fight. Yeah. I mean, Andrew don't, knows that's a bad don't idea. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Was. <laughs> Andrew's making Elvin not think that's a good idea, even though yeah. Elvin would think that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think Killian will see his gaze fall on Elvin and just pipe up again and be like, as a matter of fact, it does. That's interesting. There's amber bits of it found throughout our world, found inside people, found fused with creatures. It's like, Anastrasia, does that sound like it makes any sense? She's like, of course not, my love. <laughs> but they are not lying. It's like, no, I don't think that they are lying. <laughs> well, I only have more questions for you, I'm afraid. The Amber, well, let's just call them the Amber Gods for now. Amber Gods. Yes. Well, what's curious is how could they be where you're from when they're here? Tell me this too, how long has it been? from your world to now? About 11 weeks or so? No. 
Not that. I've been here for a long time. How we long probably has... wouldn't know. No, you. Yeah. How long have the amber uh, shards been found? The amber shards predate even me. How long has this castle been here? Oh, seven hundred years. <laughs> At least seven hundred years. Then. Right. Well, I'm going to tell you, since we're all being honest, this place is not one that you can escape. So one, I find it interesting that you think that you can. You're a learned person. I would expect that you have some way that you plan to do that. Perhaps we were simply led astray. I think is trying to lie there. Oh, please go ahead and roll deception. (laughs) I'm going to use one of these. Oh yeah, he's really good at this, so don't worry. He should be fine. How's a nine? <laughs> how's a nine look for us? Strads. <laughs> you see his fangs get longer. I allow you to be here as an old friend, unmolested, but I really don't like liars, Killian Lorca. You're smarter than that. Of course. Oh, forgive me. Of course. We do have a way back, in fact. Well, at least we well, believe we do. We'll see. So. Again, we could have been deceived. Perhaps you were. But I doubt it was one of mine. Mm, no. I would have known if you were coming and it had been one of mine, and yet I didn't. I do love the surprises that you all bring each time. <laughs> Glad we could brighten mm. your day. You've brightened my night, as there are no days here, I'm afraid. Now, the Amber has escaped. That's not possible. You see, unfortunately, the powers that be out there made this place a prison. A prison for them first, and one for me as well. I cannot leave, otherwise I would have. Could there be other Amber Lords out there who weren't trapped? No. The entire pantheon, I'm afraid, was trapped. I've dealt with them intimately. In fact, after you, they would help me accomplish all of this. They offer gifts. And Phobator is here then. Should be as we speak. I would know if they left. All of them are here. Then truly, honestly, you find us just as confused as you are. Hmm. Well, you should... Oh, they're trapped here. Indeed they are. And the amber has something to do with that. The amber is what they were imprisoned in. Maybe that pantheon's here, but could other gods have been trapped in another type of amber elsewhere? I have no idea. Just saying, if whoever trapped these gods could have done it elsewhere, maybe that's what we're seeing. The name Phobator I do know, though. In fact, the other pantheon, the rest of them don't even like Phobator. Do we know that Phobator and ours has escaped? Yes. Okay. I think Mr. E oh. explained okay. that I wasn't, I wasn't. Explained that there was more, in fact, yeah. not just Phobator, yeah. but y'all are on the trail of Phobator. Yeah. So, at least one of things that should never be able to escape here escaped. And you're trying to fight it. Noble. Very noble. It sounds like you have no love for them either. Love or don't love. It doesn't quite matter now. He goes and walks over and looks. How did you get here? Uh, Through a ritual. What did this ritual involve? Um, it involved, well, an ancient incantation and uh, a sacrifice. Hmm. A lot of sacrifices have happened here. Specifically what? What's the main material component? An Asimar. An Asimar. An Asimar. But there's none here. <laughs> and certainly none on the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, well, there's a few things that would need to take place before 
man, you just made me feel even like double guilty for Raven's character death. <laughs> <laughs> I was already guilty at the time. And now guilty. <laughs> so thanks for that. She's your character killed her. <laughs> yeah. Like, there are things that should not be able to happen, agreements that were made that they shouldn't be able to escape, yet I am somehow led to believe that time is different, so they must have, which means they escape at some point in the future. Does my logic follow? But they, they, are, they are gods. They are gods. They are indeed. But we do know that realm... I think Killian is almost forgetting the surroundings because of the puzzle. Like, But the realm's traversal, it's not always reliable in time and space. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. <sighs> so you want my information on them, Yes. And then you plan to escape? That is our plan. And it seems perhaps our fates are intertwined somehow. So, if I were to give you the information in exchange for escaping, would you do that? Are you escaping? Oh yes, I'll come with you. To wherever you're from. I could even help you fight the Amber Gods. I don't know if it's possible, to be honest. I don't know if it's possible either, but it's something we would consider. Would you really? Probably not. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. All right, let me get let me get another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and then they died. Yeah. Let's go to the castle. Steve said, "I got a 13. He's like, <laughs> "Oh." He's like, "No, you wouldn't." And you know, I don't even blame you. That could be very bad. But very good for me. There's always a winning side and a losing side. I bet you understand that. I see I do. bits of myself in you. You have the stature of a warlord, a conqueror. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Romer just lost like five points for Oban. <laughs> I'm trying to survive. <laughs> no, no. Look, man, I'm just trying to survive just, here. Seeing himself in you lost the points. He's like, okay, I'll give you the information. I find this quite curious indeed. Especially the bits on you escaping and getting here with an Asimov. I find those fascinating. Almost enough for me to give you the information already. However... It's far too juicy. As I said, you're welcome to stay here unmolested as long as you like. If you want that book, though, I'll need you to do something for me. What would you ask of us? Nothing so against your taste. I'm not going to have you raise a village or anything. That's good. Appreciate that. I could, though. I have no doubt. I wouldn't. No? Not even to stop a god? Elbin? All that natural power, imagine what a god could do to nature. I think you would turn away and think about it and be like, well, I guess maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it brings up a good point. <laughs> and like, I told you the last time that you were here that you should not let nothing stand in the way of your goals, did I not? You did. Very well. All I need from you is help with a doctor. And that's where we're going to end it. <laughs> I don't like you anymore, man. <laughs> and so, we don't. our characters have met again. A character of Strahd von Zarevich. Finding the monster that their mercy saved. But perhaps, the monsters they'll stop due to the mercy they gave. <laughs> All right. Mm. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. When we come back next Tuesday, we will be in Barovia. You a dick, Sean. <laughs>